Namaste, people from YouTube. <laughs> A little video, and this one is on. Um, uh, so I'm about to go up north for the new job, and uh, hopefully I'll be able to bring back. No, hopefully I will try um, to bring back some video from the new base and new jobs, and so I'll be right near. Uh, I'll put actually a link where I'm going to be. It's called Ranklin Inlet. And it's very, very, very high, <laughs> very, very lost. Um, so in this new job, like I was saying, I'll be a uh, flight nurse, so meaning that we'll, I'll be doing uh, medical transports from uh, that region to uh, other centers. Uh, the problem uh, with where I'm going to be is that weather is sometimes not that great. Uh, and uh, there's um, a lot of time that we may be uh, stuck somewhere because a part broke or, or just that we cannot uh, get back to the base. Um, so it's been told that we need to have kind of a EDC bag uh, where because uh, we can be stuck in a hotel for two or three days or anywhere else. Um, so I uh, made one. But I don't want to have uh, the the issue too is that now I have to carry this all the time with me, um, and uh, I don't want to carry too much, too. And you know, like how when when you get a bigger bag, you start putting too much stuff on it. Uh, so right now I uh, so I made it, and like I said, it's gonna be my first time up there. So probably there's some change, some things that may change. But I think right now I'm pretty happy with uh, with the bag, how it went. Uh, so I'll go through it and tell you a little bit about what I, uh, what I have and hopefully uh, that's going to be uh, interesting. <laughs> so so here's the bag itself. So it's the Kato from uh, Azard 4. And over here right now, because I'm going to be flying up, but uh, this is to replace, I'm going to be using a... Um, those metal uh, board to kind of uh, clipboards to uh, take notes and stuff because all my charting will be in paper. So uh, it's kind of about that size and I need to bring that up as well. It's kind of a uh, DVD player, but it's going to kind of give an idea of what the bag looks like when it's filled out. As you can see, I got a bottle of water uh, with the uh, OR research um, kind of um, to keep it war warmer or like to, to prevent from freezing because obviously cold will be a big issue uh, where I'm going. Uh, on this side of uh, the bag is a, uh, so basically this is a uh, kind of a, uh, a messenger uh, size bag and you can add a um, which is right over here there's a clip that you can kind of so it can balance itself so it's not so bad um, to carry like this and again I'll be carrying it in the, in, in the uh, airplane so it stays beside me uh, so I made it functional as well so that I can use it a little bit like a small office um, so on this side here so this pocket, there's a little pocket on the side. Uh, right here, I, I put a little flashlight. You can never have too much light sometime in the airplane. Um, it's a little, so I got a little survival kit in there. Uh, so what I got is the uh, Exotech 16 hour survival candle. And the reason I put this one versus the 30 hours is that this one is more for heat. So it has more heat, less time. Um, but uh, since heat could be a problem, I, I thought I would carry this. And over here I got the uh, Adventure Medical Kit uh, little um, BB bag, as well as a few items of survival. So uh, um, I did a video in the past, and it's pretty much the same one that I had in my uh, uh, flight suit. Uh, I just re put it here so that they can fit here. As you can see, it fits rightly over here. Right over here, it's kind of my. Uh, uh, we carry tablets. That looks a little bit like an iPad, but it's an Android. Uh, so I'll be putting that 
right in this pocket in the front as well as uh, <laughs> as disgusting they may sound it's going to be a long flight and sometime if you didn't pee or something uh, it, there's an accident that can happen uh, so what I'm carrying is those bags they're kind of disaster bags but they're part of my uh, disaster bags so I'm carrying one so basically it's kind of a portable toilet if uh, somebody has to because sometimes also you have uh, um, people that, that uh, comes with a patient so carry kind of a little uh, portable toilet I uh, never tried them yet but uh, like I said they're part of my uh, they're kind of double bag so you do your business and kind of close it and it becomes like a big zipper uh, and it creates like kind of a padding for uh, tablets as I put over here as well, I'm, I'm carrying extra uh, money, credit cards, and things over here, so that you always have uh, something on you. Uh, so this is in that pocket right in the front here, with that zipper. And then once you open it up, so when you open it up over here, over here I have uh, two, um, I think that, uh, dehydrated or frozen? I think they're frozen. Yeah, dry, uh, f um, pro, uh, dry, fro uh, frozen dry. Uh, not dehydrated, but basically just have to add water. Uh, so I have two of those here. Uh, so they can be used in a hotel or if something breaks down in the airplane, to do that as well. And I have uh, kind of an MRE heater. Uh, so if I have to uh, take water, and I'm carrying little uh, kind of protein bars so if I don't have to use the dinner I can use only the, the bars to kind of hold me up to my next lunch um, so this is in that pocket over here and then in the main pocket so there's kind of two pockets there's uh, the top one over here and there's one a bit lower actually we'll uh, start with the lower one because there's less items in there um, so this one, like I was saying, uh, hopefully I'm trying to make this as a uh, little office, which is pretty much what this uh, function. So let's see if I can get there. We go. Um, so over here I got two kind of stethoscopes. We do pediatric and neonate. So I have um, pediatric neonate uh, head, and as you can see from the difference, that's an adult one. So I got two different stethoscopes. Um, I got a little uh, heads um, e light, uh, so those those lights are great. Uh, they have um, um, all kind of different functions, and they're they're made for emergency and they're water uh, resistance as well. Uh, over here, I got uh, extra battery pack uh, as well as a little uh, peanut uh, lighter, bunch of. Uh, pencils and uh, markers and over here a few clamps that sometimes it can be used as well. It's here I got a few uh, medical um, things that I use uh, sometimes uh, and a two vomit bag because obviously being in the airplane it can be uh, one of the issues. Uh, I'm also carrying extra batteries because uh, I bought a new uh, tactical light uh, and uh, that's going to be uh, I'll do probably another video on my belt that I carry, and it's going to be on my belt. Uh, and those are the batteries that it used, so that's why I have it over there. So this is the office, and as you can see over here, it has like a uh, transparent stuff. And we, uh, like I was saying, all our protocols are in um, on on the uh, tablets. But as you can know, uh, as you know, uh, sometime. Um, electronics can uh, fail so we carry the, the paper part of the protocols so that's where it's gonna go so that way like I said it's gonna be accessible it, it makes me like I was saying a little office kind of setup uh, this this will be attached and I just open it up and I can chart and do things so now in the main compartment so that was the uh, other uh, thing um, need so I have a little BB bag uh, not a BB bag sorry a body bag uh, for two people so a little shelter system uh, for a two person 
um, as well as I carry a whole, as you can see things are tight in there, but uh, I carry a whole hygiene uh, little uh, kit, uh, so basically it has uh, toothbrush, toothpaste, uh, uh, nail clipper, uh, dental floss, toilet paper, has a little, uh, so it, basically anything, and also it has its own little uh, uh, trick towels, so that means that I can, um, if I don't have a towel, then I can use this. Uh, so I got that over here, and then I have uh, one set of clothes, because uh, I'll be wearing like a suit and stuff, but uh, like a flight suit. But if I'm stuck in the airport I don't, or uh, at the, in, the, in the city, I don't want to be walking around with that. So uh, what I got is a pair of pants, and I don't really feel like taking it out because uh, it's pretty tight in there, like I was saying. Uh, so I got a, a t-shirt, a um, pair of socks, a pair of pants, and as well as I have in that, I can't take out. Um, it's a three-day kind of um, like cookies, those kind of uh, survival... Uh, dry meats, kind of like, they're kind of cookies, they're very hard cookies, but um, high in nutrition. Uh, so this is in the main pouch. And basically that makes a kit, so that way, like I was saying, I can basically have uh, 72 hours out of uh, anywhere uh, that we can be, and as well as it, be, it becomes that if, if we have a survival kit, obviously, in the airplane, it's uh, mandatory, but if something happened, and for whatever reason the kit is separated, I still have my own kit that I can grab at it every time because this will be always near me again because of this office use that I can do on the front and my tablets and all my paperwork will be in there so that's why I always carry it beside me. So anyway I thought I would do a little video and, um, and show you my kind of flight EDC that uh, I'll be in. Uh, I'll Make some reviews, see if it work and if uh, it's useful and stuff, and uh, I'll keep track of it. So talk to you soon.